हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम क्षितिजा पाटिल असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम डिग्री कॉलेज ऑफ फिजिकल एजुकेशन एच वी पी एम अमरावती टूडेज आर टॉपिक इज स्ट्रक्चर इन सी फर्स्ट वील सी वॉट इज मीन बाय स्ट्रक्चर अ स्ट्रक्चर इज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ लॉजिकली रिलेटेड डेटा आइटम्स ग्रुप टुगेदर अंडर अ कॉम सिंगल नेम कॉल्ड एज स्ट्रक्चर टैग एक्चुअली वी नो दैट इन सी लैंग्वेज देर आर फोर बेसिक डेटा टाइप्स दैट इज कैर आई एन टी फ्लोट एंड डबल बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस इफ वी वॉन्ट टू क्लब डिफरेंट डेटा टाइप इन्फॉर्मेशन टुगेदर फॉर सर्टन लॉजिकल डेटा आइटम देन वी हैव टू डिफाइन द न्यू डेटा टाइप एंड दैट इज यूजर डिफाइंड डेटा टाइप एंड इट इज नोन एज स्ट्रक्चर द जनरल फॉर्म फॉर डिफाइंड स्ट्रक्चर इज वी रिक्वायर अ की वर्ड स्ट्रक एंड देन वी नीड अ टैग नेम एंड इन साइड द करली ब्रसेस वी हैव टू डिक्लेयर ऑल द मेम्बर्स रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दैट पर्टिक्युलर स्ट्रक्चर द डेटा आइटम्स दैट मेक अ स्ट्रक्चर आर कॉल्ड एज इट्स मेम्बर्स और एलिमेंट्स और फील्ड्स एंड दे कैन बी ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स लेट वी सी वन एग्जाम्पल सपोज वी वॉन्ट टू स्टोर द इन्फॉर्मेशन फॉर अ बुक मीन्स अ बुक मे हैव अ नेम देन प्राइस विच इज मे बी इन डेसिमल पॉइंट्स एंड द नंबर ऑफ पेजेस विच इज इन इंटीजर ऑब्वियसली दीज थ्री डिफरेंट डेटा टाइप दीज थ्री रिक्वायर डिफरेंट डेटा टाइप्स एंड दैट्स वाई वी नीड अ स्ट्रक्चर so for define the structure for book again we need a struct keyword then for tag name we use book and then the we are defining three uh, members inside the curly braces the first one is name with character array 20 size second one we declare price as uh, with float data type and third member is pages with int the individual members can be the ordinary variables or pointers or array or even they may be other structures the member name within a particular structure must be distinct from one another now we'll see how we can declare the structure variables like an ordinary variable a structure variable must be declared before its use a structure variable can be defined along with structure definition or separately we using the tag name along with structure definition we can define the structure variable after the closing brace and before the terminating semicolon just we have to put the structure variable names if number of structure variables we want to declare then separate them with commas like this example a structure variable can be defined using tag name in a separate statement as follows using the keyword struct then tag name for this example we are using the tag book and again the we if we want to declare three separate variables for example b1 b2 and b3 in this way we can define the structure variables now we'll see how we can initialize the structure variables like an ordinary variable and array or structure variables can also be initialized where they are declared means inside uh, within the structure definition after the closing brace we write down the structure variable name then using assignment operator we can initialize the values for particular members inside that structure in this example we have given the string variable visual string value visual basic in double quotations then for price we have put the value 125.75 and for pages we have given the value 278 in this way we define the uh, we initialize the structure apart from this we can initialize the structure variable using the tag name in this example we can show using the keyword for struct then tag name book and the variable name b2 and along with this we have used the assignment operator 
and given the values in curly braces. All these values may be repeatedly used for different variables. Means, in all we can show in this example above the main function our complete structure definition along with its where structure variable declaration and initialization may take place and in main function also we can define another variables and also we can initialize them in like in this example. Now, we will see how we can access or assign the structure members. We can access and assign values to the members of a structure in a number of ways. The member themselves are not variables, they should be linked. Uh, to the structure variables in order to make them meaningful members. The link between a member and a structure variable is established using the member operator dot. It is also known as dot operator or period operator. For example, our structure variable is book 1 and our structure member is price. So, we have combined together book 1 dot price and make this variable as a meaningful member variable. We can see in this examples how we can uh, assign the values at runtime. We know that in C language scanf function is used to give the values at runtime using the scanf value and using the dot operator we have shown how we can assign the values at runtime. Similarly, printf function is used to show the structure values as in normal uh, C language. You, the only difference is that in scanf function there we require ampersand sign and in printf there we do not require any ampersand sign, but the operator uh, dot must be present in between the structure variable and members of a structure. Member of a structure can be assigned as Suppose, one by one we want to assign the values for particular members. For in first example, we will see how we can assign the string to a variable. So, suppose we are having a string programming in C, since it is a string, so we have to use the strcpy function and using this function we can assign the value to the b1 dot name means structure variable b1 and its member name the value programming in C is get assigned to b1 dot name. But for decimal and integer simply we can use the assignment operator to assign the values. For example, we have shown b1 dot price is equal to 123.78, so it is sufficient to write down and b1 dot pages is equal to 126, uh, 166. Okay. The values of structure variables can be assigned to another structure variables of same type by using the assignment operators. We are having uh, suppose three different structure variables. One structure variable is already initialized with the structure definition that one variable suppose b1 is equal to basic 125.75 and 278 and now these values we want to assign to another structure variable that is b2 and b3. If one by one we want to assign then in second example we can see using strcpy function we can assign the string value to another uh, member function uh, member variable using the simple assignment operator we can assign the decimal and integer values to another structure variables. And if in a single stage we want to copy all the members to another structure variables, then simply put the assignment operator in between the two different structure variables. For example, our third variable is b3 and we want to copy the variables uh, the values of b2 in b3 then simply write down b3 is equal to b2. Now, we will see what is meant by nested structure. A structure declared inside another structure is known as nested structure. Using this facility complex data types can be defined or created. Suppose we are having a structure with 
different members like name, address, basic, HRA, CA. In, in this way, there are different elements regarding the salary of an employee. This structure defines name, address, basic pay and three types of allowances. Now, I can this uh, I can club these three types of allowances together and it can be declared as a substructure as follows means actually what we are doing we are clubbing the allowances together we have make another structure using the struct keyword inside the main structure and we have declared the structure variable a for this nested structure and for the main structure again we are defining the another structure variable emp means your main structure is salary and nested structure with different kinds of allowances here variable a is itself a structure variables with three members the members of inner structure can be accessed as emp means the main structure variable dot a means the nested structure variable and dot basic means the member of that nested structure same way emp dot a dot da in this way we can access the value of da and innermost structure uh, sorry innermost member in a nested structure can be accessed by chaining all the concerned structure variables from outermost to innermost along with members using dot operator. So, we can see the complete program for this structure, uh, a structure always be defined at the top of your main function. So, in uh, at this side we can see the definition of a structure cell with different members. The three members are first member is name, second one is address and third one is another nested structure inside this main structure. This nested structure contains the uh, three types of allowances eh, that is basic DA HRA. The nested structure variable is A and the main structure variable is EMP. How this structure can be implemented? exist in main function we can see in this way ok. Uh, suppose we want to enter the name of person. So, the main variable structure variable that is emp and the member variable that is name. So, in scanf statement we can get the value. Same for address, but now in next scanf statement we can see basic is the member of nested structure. So, we have to chain it properly using the dot operator that is emp dot a dot basic. Same for da, same for hra. In this way we can get the values using scanf function and same for di displaying the values you can use the printf statement. In printf statement also we use the same chaining method for getting the nested structure members. So, in this way we have studied structure. Thank you.